not growing all your own food, then whether you know it or not, you are connected to farm workers who feed the country and who feed the world. If you're not out there in the fields being exposed to pesticides, being exposed to heat, being exposed to abuse and harassment and poor living conditions and horrible working conditions, then you need to thank a farm worker. Yes. Agriculture is one of the biggest, it is the biggest contributor to climate change on the planet. And people don't talk about that. We talk about coal, we talk about emissions, but agriculture is the single biggest contributor to climate change on our entire planet. We need to change the way we do agriculture in this country because conventional agriculture exploits the planet and exploits the people who harvest and grow the food that the rest of us eat. So as long as we have agriculture that continues to use pesticides, that continues to cut down trees for acres and acres of land to grow monocrops with GMO uh, uh, seeds, then we are all at risk. And the ones most vulnerable and most at risk are the farm workers to whom we all owe a debt of gratitude. I am here by myself today because the people that I work with that worked on the farms for generations, whose parents were slaves, whose grandparents and great grandparents were slaves, they are all sick and they're all getting older because they were exposed to pesticides. So I have I have Betty and Irma and Linda and Geraldine and Betty DeBose and Mary Tinsley here with me on this. And I want to do this in honor of Betty Woods and Geraldine who passed away over the past couple of years. So when we talk about climate change, when we talk about climate justice, we have to realize what one of the major contributors to climate change is and to climate injustice is. And that's agriculture. So I'm calling on all of you all right now. I could talk for a long time, but I won't. There's lots of issues now with EPA reducing regulation, re reducing, trying to stop. We just had a real 10-year fight to get stronger protections for farm workers. Now all of that is at risk. We've been fighting for 10 years against a really bad pesticide that causes learning disabilities. Uh, um, autism and ADHD in kids, and EPA is now trying to reverse it. And of course, most farm workers today are immigrants. We have a rally on May 1st in Apopka. Come join us for immigrant and worker rights. But I want to close by saying we need to honor our ancestors, the Native Americans on all planets, the indigenous people on all planets who are doing sustainable agriculture in their communities. And in our country, we need to fight for justice for farm workers. Justice for farm workers. Everybody, justice for farm workers. 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 Thank you.